I'm Dave. And I'm Virginia. And we're the parents of Claire and Shantae. Everyone's different and the same as in the cultural backgrounds or you know, different languages. That's just part of you know, the diverse community that we live in. People with disabilities are just part of that community as well. They have friends that are children with disability and children without disability. They're all friends and they all play together really well. Our younger, Shantae, she was able to help one of the kids go down the slide and she came back talking about you know how happy it was and how much he loved it and, and how you know all the kids actually wanted to have that turn to help him out. I was playing on the slide with one of my friends then I saw Grayson and I went on the slide with him. Child's birthday party, everybody was invited to it, everybody attended, had fun and got along really well. They've attained great patience and understanding, knowing that not every child is the same. It's not just about the children, it's also including parents as well, because there's no point doing something within school and then doing something completely different at home. It's important to include others so they feel happy and safe. And also when you're playing, it's really important because you don't want people to be left out and lonely. If someone's being left out, I would let them join in my games. Inclusive means including people in groups or in games around the school in class. Hi, I'm Peter Haberfield. I'm a Year 2 classroom teacher here at Armstrong Creek School. My name's Mel Elevato. I'm our leading teacher for inclusive practices here at Armstrong Creek. You want all your students to achieve success and that's um, teaching to their strengths and ensuring that you're covering both their social, emotional, academic and their physical needs within the classroom. We're really focused on ensuring that all children are included regardless of their individual needs and what that means for us is working as a team with our colleagues, with the families, with the involved specialists to ensure that the things we put in place for every child here it's just what they need. We make adjustments to ensure that children are able to access learning and we use a tiered approach to make sure that children have the support they need in order to achieve their best. My name's Karen Allen. I've got two daughters who attend the college. Even though my children don't have any additional needs, they've seen the inclusion that the school promotes through their inclusive education. They've experienced in the classroom and with other students out in the playground. They've seen how that school manages to include everyone. It's not something that's necessarily taught to them, but I think it's just something that they observe and they see very um, occur very naturally. And that's just about really just being kind and accepting and it's something that they demonstrate every day and even when we're out in public, it's something that carries on. Whether at the park or a play centre, they'll try and include others, help others if they're struggling maybe to navigate something on a playground, they, they will ask them if they need help. I remember once my daughter was at kindergarten um, and then we started at this school and the same child was there and um, Rani invited her to a birthday party and it was a child who had additional needs and her mum basically cried when she got the invitation. So I think it's something that maybe Rani didn't even recognise that this child had additional needs, that she was just friendly and kind and they both all got along. You just include everyone no matter what disability and you try to acknowledge their disability if they have one, but if not, just try and include everyone. My name is Adam Clark. I'm a teacher at the Grange Primary School in Hoppers Crossing. The idea in our school is to try and make students feel like they can access, make sure that all students have an equal opportunity to take part in as many things as we offer. Students with disability have just as much right as any other student to have a go at all the activities on offer at school. Every person just wants to be part of the community. Everyone wants to be included. We get to see the benefits for the whole school community. It's not just for the students. It's the staff, it's the parents. People in the community can make their school more inclusive by keeping an open mind, engaging in conversations, and being fully involved in their school. Disabled children can be the happiest kids in the world and they bring a light into a classroom. 